when London belongs to the Orient. The fourth round draw and postponements have combined to make Leighton Stadium the focal point of the Capitals football. That's the lineup that Orion looked to to send Southampton the way of West Bromwich Albion, who were conquered here in round three. Teenager Richard Cadet, who scored the winner that day, is sadly missing, so Andy Sussex starts a game for the first time since last September. With Nick Holmes on the injured list, manager Lauren McMenemy, incidentally, in his 13th Cup campaign with Southampton, chooses a side which has two wingers, Wallace and George Lawrence, who's recently returned to the club from Oxford United. The referee comes from Oxford, Dennis Hedges. Well, it's a contest which brings to mind some of football's favourite clichés about pride and commitment. And maybe even the old chestnut of the cup being a great leveller. Here we have the seventh side in the first division, playing the 22nd in the third. And the first division team had the first free kick to be taken by their captain, Mick Mills. Run by Foster. Jones. Donnellan. That's not a bad try at the start of the match. Right on loan from Chelsea, giving the first test to England's number one. A touch for the other goalkeeper. Who is on loan from Arsenal? Reese Wilmot is here for the season. Silkman has been everywhere. And Ellen. Tom Cunningham. Good cover in by uh, Wallace. Strong challenge by Donnellan. Godfrey. Silkman. Takes the free kick immediately, Jones. Oh, that's a nice turn. But he didn't get weight into the shot. Barry Silkman, probably the most experienced player, well, certainly the most well-known. This, this is his eighth club. Armstrong, rather blind. Castle. Hales. Sussex. Jones. Oh, beautifully done. Got to do it again, though. Hales. Oh. Well, it was only just over the crossbar. But I must say, it's a lovely play from Chris Jones. Though he spent nine years at Tottenham. It was the inside-out turn of a Johan Cruyff then. And then he had to do it again, and in the end, set up the opportunity for Hales, which went just over the top. Armstrong. Looking for Steve Moran, who is free in the middle. The bounce took the ball rather further across than he was expecting. Here's Lawrence! And that's a good save from Wilmot. All Southampton get in the end is a corner, but certainly there was a great threat down the middle. Moran had stolen there unmarked, but when the ball bounced, it bounced a bit to the right and denied him going along on his own. Found Lawrence, and the shot turned over well by the goalkeeper, Wilmot. Curtis looking to make the run off the ear of Jones. Wallace really are attacking the ball. Good work here by Stockman. Forced the turn. Armstrong, Lawrence, good play by Banfield. Donnellan, calm me down to Stockman. Nice footwork by Wallace. Curtis, in the midst of pandemonium, there was a fair bit of style there by one or two players.
right. There's no doubt, I think, that Chris Jones is enjoying a reminder of other days. And Ellen standing in front of a three-man wall. And he misses it. He being Castle. seen more of the ball around his end, Peter Shilton, but he's only actually had to make one save. Curtis. Banfield. And we're five minutes away from the interval. Still nil-nil. scored four times in the third round against uh, Sunderland. Orient have so far scored seven times in their four matches. Back header. Oh! And it's up into the roof of the net. And Joe Jordan turns to take the salute. Two dive together. And the ball high into the roof of the net. Gives the first division side their fifth goal of the competition. And gives them the lead in round four. Joe Jordan's 12th goal of the season in the 41st minute of the contest. And one has to say that on the balance of play, it's a little rough on the third division side. Indication from Laurie, just hold it tight until half-time. Keep your concentration, keep watching. Godfrey. Bar by Dennis. Jones. Godfrey. Another foul by Dennis, and the referee wants to take his name. Competitive to the point of a booking. Quartet to come from the left. Foster at the back. Lawrence. Corner. And there are one or two looks up into the sky on the Southampton bench. But that really was one that should have been hoofed into the crowd. But not for a corner, but for the throw. Silkman takes it. Shilton with the punch. And again, rather a flat, but then a really good dive on top of the ball to deny Foster. So, Southampton hang on to their lead. Just a four-minute gap between the goal and the half-time whistle. And the goal scored by Joe Jordan from the corner a charge on the near post and the ball up into the roof of the net past the despairing Reese Wilmot Chris Jones who had a good first half gets a second underway against the team that uh, since they won the cup back in 1976 have been uh, beaten by the winners no fewer than three times by Manchester United in 77 by Arsenal in 79 and last season in the semi-final by the cup holders, Everton. Godfrey with the flick. Jones. Away by Curtis. Well won by Bond. Dennis. Joe Jordan took all the sting out of it, but here's Leo Donnellan. And here's Lawrence off the head of Castle. Oh, there were two in. 
maybe they got sucked in too far or maybe the pass wasn't very good the real opportunity is wasted by Southampton Wallace free kick against Hales David Armstrong to take it fine save, no it's got it he blocked it initially from Steve Moran and then it went in off the post this time it was a free kick but again the foot of David Armstrong and again a header of great power which the goalkeeper could not keep out So Southampton's first goal four minutes before half-time and their second five minutes into the second half. There's a bit of class about that. Cunningham. It really does feel that if they could snatch a goal. Well, they came close then from Chris Jones. Still very nippy, Chris Jones. 28 years old now, but... Uh, Brought here by Frank Clark. Castle. And he was fouled by Lawrence. But the fullback never really seemed to make up his mind whether he was going to get up through or not. Went for a couple of trots but never really got up full steam. And Lawrence challenged him from behind. Free kick has been quickly taken. Silkman curling a little bit. Just passed and off the head of the defender. It's the corner. Crowd desperate for a goal for the home side. Silkman's punch. Silkman. Barry Silkman trying everything he can to pull the right strings to give decide what they deserve and that is certainly one goal in the contest Torrance Moran well, dare I tell him that he actually had time to kill it and make sure but it would have been very spectacular had he got it right have played their final, their big day has come and gone Southampton go on to round five, two goals either side of half time, the first from Joe Jordan and the second from Steve Moran two moments of class in a really hard cup tie and sadly for Orient they have nothing actual to show for all their determination which played such a great part in a thoroughly entertaining afternoon.